I learned how to do a simple frame and a couple gears in FreeCAD. So I'm in the park workbench. I create a document, I made a part. Already made a tube here. I'm going to change the height to 12. Okay. And I'm going to do another tube. I'm going to make it 20. And then I'm going to move it 72 millimeters. There. Okay. I'm going to make a cube. Get the top view. I'm going to make the width 4 millimeters and the length 68, 66. Go to the placement. I'm going to move it to center it. There, okay. So I have these three, but there are three different pieces. So now shift and click, select all three, and I can just do a boolean, make a union of several shapes. Now it's one piece. Show that I can move it just all three together. So that's for the frame. I did install this workbench. You can get it here. FC gear. But before that, I'm going to go to the part design. I'm going to create two bodies. We can go to the first body, back to the gear, gear workbench, and create my first gear. It's going to be inside that body. Now I can edit this gear. I want height of 20, 20. I want 80 and I want module 2. I can view, there it is. One more thing I want to do is the position. The position is going to be in the body. And I want to bring it up 14. Be plenty. So I have some space. I'm going to do another gear and the other body. Need to double click, make it active. Back to the gear, make the gear, click on the gear. This one is going to be sixty four, height is going to be five, module is going to be two. Now I want to change. Placement of this gear. That's going to be 72. And the height. Uh, 22. Okay. Now, this one. Ah, uh, no, Katas, 14. Okay. This one I can rotate a little bit. So 
me 22.5. There's not much backlash, so I can change this. I have a magic formula that I figured out. I want one millimeter backlash, so if on each gear I uh, take the one millimeter div divided by the number of teeth, and it can of work. So that's going to be 125. And then for this one, ta -ta, it's going to be 64, uh, 1 div divided by 64. That's for the backlash. Now I'm going to come back to part design. Select this. Hit sketch. Make a circle right in the middle. Uh, diameter. Close, make a pocket, okay. And then if I want to do some spokes, I can go here back, create a sketch. I'm going to do a circle again, in the middle. Let's do and then Another circle Come out here. Okay, click. Right click, left click. Diameter. The middle one is going to be 20. Okay, and then this one is going to be. Let's put 110. Work. Two lines. Put some dimension. So this, this. Put three millimeters. Then this to this horizontal. Three millimeters too. Then I'm going to trim this tool and then this and then coincident Okay, it's fully constrained. I can close and make a pocket. Come on. There, I have a quarter of the sp spokes made. And I can go to the polar pattern. It's the last pocket. Okay. Two. A three, a four. Okay. Save. Yeah. Frame. Save. Okay. I'm going to add a pinion onto that gear. So the first thing, I'm going to create a new body. Then in this body, go back to the gear. Create the gear. Then the body 
I can move it seventy two and height. Matches the back. Okay, still figuring out that boolean thing. What I've seen, I think I can select this. Shift click boolean. Have the polar pattern involved girl. Apply. Close. Now they moved, but now transform. I can bring it back to what it was before. So that's about where I'm at now. That Boolean operation, I still need to work on that. Okay, hope you liked the video, you learned something, please like, subscribe and see you next time. Hopefully I'll have a better understanding of the Boolean. Thank you for watching. Bye.